I don't believe it. Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Greenwoods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. 
Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I hate that. It keeps, I, don't I hope it's just for the to... people. I don't know what's with this I blue do, shit, but it's starting to That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, this very part shit, like, I don't I know dare what's with this blue shit. We are shit. about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this no, the... the fucking... I fixed it. I do. But to what up? What's up? Does it show you that I changed our group chat to avocado? No, saying that it was Avatar. Yeah, but I just changed it to avocado. I seen that it was Avatar. I just changed the I'm playing. Mm. Like when your bone died, I changed it to avocado. Mm. Because I'm saying, do you, can you see it? But I'd be changing it. I seen that she was doing that. Mean girls, but I was like, yeah, that's no, shut up. Mean girls. Did you see that one? What I think I sent you? Mm -mm. That bitch had two, two dicks in her vagina. That shit was wild. I know, the niggas is gay. Huh? The niggas is gay. No, and, it, and you were like, you told me I'm not gonna look at that. I'm like, just go look at that. That's just I'm insane. Fuck that shit. 
Say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. What? I'm reading the comments and so far was like, y'all just ate Luma, what happened? When I move towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling no, about. No, no, no. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. <laughs> I'm not sure if I smoked too much this morning, but why does it look like the dick is dry? <laughs> there must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Revelia. I presume this is what you saw reflected. That's cool, yo, this game. It is. The reflection's still there, but the I'm statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, this game is badass. Your, your creative character is speaking. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Rebellion. 
I suppose I'm on my own this time. enemies
wonder. Follow my lead. Trusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. <coughs> the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <coughs> Someone's coming. <coughs> Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, <coughs> we should be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <laughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did not... Oh. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs>
shit. That is. I've never insane. seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. Like I was charge of fucking put it back in. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, I could just turn it up like that. No, you weren't saying shit. I'm smoking and playing on. Here we go. Finally, some Harry Potter shit. I'll be streaming this for the day. Are you coming or no? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go watch it. This oh, shit is good. pretty interesting. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They I'm about need to get to placed in my schoolhouse, good. Ranrock. For the moment, I'm about I to get placed to in my schoolhouse. What's this evening between you and me? Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? What? Harry Potter? Yeah, I'm playing at Hogwarts. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet <coughs> the headmaster. <coughs> Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin problem Enough. has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. These raps are disgusting. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Man, they better put Have me somewhere seat. cold, bro. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. 
certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Mm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. You belong in Slytherin! Let's go! unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said I'm sure you all have fuck? plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite oh. an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. I'm about to flip. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin Common Room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Aspiration. 
Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. You sound crazy as hell. That's that shadow grave. Like I was trying to make gone. a clip. Better head to the common room. I said I was trying to make a clip. Oh shit! Man, fuck that. I'm gonna explore this room. Let's see what my roommates have got. Okay. Where I go? Wait a minute, can I open this shit? Uh, fine common room. Uh, fuck, I don't feel like running. Come on. Or walking, shit. Is that bad? <laughs> Is that bad? I didn't know that. Did you see the way they Hey, that's pretty cool. Can I help you? A little room, everyone. Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Sebastian. Well, to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figure all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more. Seems like I answered that right because okay. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon Yeah, this is going to but make me pick up my accent a lot more. more. Like, I'm going to be... It, like, textbooks. it makes me want to talk like it. <laughs> it does, bro. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> That is a conversation for another time. The bear got me a it homie. It's good meeting you. Good luck today. <laughs> got me a homie. <laughs> Why I got the mission? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay, put that. Away. <laughs> Man, what a bitch is that? What's this? Do that if I were you. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, I need me a female friend. I need a female friend, so we'll pick the see if Ugh, we can. I'm not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I want to hear you say it. You should have listened to me. I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame Imelda. I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Alright, cool. Hopefully we can get her to teach us how to ride that motherfucker, because... We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I hey, hold on. More than Kugawa well, let's get someone did. straight here. Speaking for you ain't, you like ain't chopping me up. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. 
There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Hmm. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? I'm high as hell. Did I already ask, do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Oh, There's okay, nothing yeah. like swerving through the spires <laughs> of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Quidditch. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Well, me and her ain't gonna be cool. I see I'm gonna have to knock that bitch out. Look at, uh, well, found the drug dealer in a uh, school. Oh, I am so... Thank God there's no friendly wizardry on here because I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Are you blind? Ominous Gaunt. I think nice he's blind. You, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt oh, you'll shit is cold, bro. Okay, do you suspect, did you suspect you would be in Slytherin? Do mermaid, yeah, yeah, I want to ask this. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. There is a mod to attack others. <laughs> well, yes, he's blind. Dad, okay, yeah, I kind of figured he was blind. Kind of way, how the way his pupils look. That's fucking cool. <laughs> there is a mod. Yeah, because I felt bad. I didn't try to hit him. Oh, I do mermaids. Okay. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. Bro, I sound like fucking Kronika from Mortal Kombat 11. Slytherin, <laughs> like, one of the four what? founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Hmm. I'm one of them, nigga. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to I meet you. I love his name. Pleasure Ominous. Was I like that Don't name. Don't be a stranger. Hey, don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Hey, Professor Weasley, yo. Wait. I think I think, I think she's always been a professor here or something. I'm not. Hmm. Man, it better be Ron. We're going to have problems. <laughs> Ron teaching the, sli the camera on here. I'm, I'm still trying to work this shit out. What the fuck? Oh, it's better not attack me. I know that. Okay. <laughs> What's good, Professor? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. This counts well, as me going are. to college, right? Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially what do you mean? as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. What does OWLs? that mean? OWLs? Yeah. Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. No, it's from like... They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much oh, discussion with the headmaster okay, okay. and the Department of Magical so, Education at I... the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Wait, so I gotta do fucking schoolwork? Here you are. I told the damn hat I wanted to explore. If school was like this, niggas would've got straight A's. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. 
Come on, bro. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Huh, <laughs> who Thank needs you, backpacks Professor, when you can do that shit? What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly okay, then. appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and oh, okay. educate yourself about wizarding lore. Yeah, you go to classes and shit to learn. Do something. keep up. Okay, okay. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Kelp Kelpie? Kelp. Yeah. My remote died in Chase. You're like the only person I know with the name slightly with the slightly twisted. I knew it was you, Pimp. You just asked me if I was talking to somebody in the chat, Susie. Yes, Chase. <laughs> Chase? Yes, that's Chase. That's who slightly twisted is. Fuck, I couldn't even read it, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I only know oh, one. <laughs> no, it's because I thought you were talking about like, someone who was just playing that game. Like, you just unlocked it for a challenge. Okay. <laughs> this is your winner level XP. Do I gotta pick one? Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Collecting. Okay. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. What the fuck? Hey. Fuck the teacher. Hold on. Can I go here? Oh, nigga. <laughs> so is it? I wonder if it's because I'm in Slytherin. Slytherin. Like why it looks all dark and gloomy and shit. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field okay. guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Every day of my life. 
Chase, man, I'm t I ask Coda. Well, yeah, I don't got time for that. Um, if you're ever down to like run some fucking For Honor or some shit, bro, I can instantly download that shit and we can run that. Or Fortnite. Xavier's been asking me to play it too. Oi. I forgot he gave me these donuts. Uh, his ass stayed up all night again. <laughs> I know, man, yo, like. And here we are, quite the time saver. He's oh, oof, okay. Like, no Central exaggeration Queen. or bullshit. I did not know that you were expecting again. You like, can yo, get almost definitely congratulations on that shit. In the name, by the way. My man has the mo my man has the standard family. He has the son and the daughter. That's what's up. And that donut was dry as hell, Xavier. But it was good, though. Uh, where did my smoke go? I want to watch some more season three of The Boys, but I guess I can wait until tonight. My fault, Professor. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Some tells me you don't want to be our motherfucking head minister. That I feel like I play for Fortnite now. a lot, You'll but Diablo 4 is on Game Pass. Okay. Against the dark arts classes today. And Wait, I'd is like that? To be sure you get to what would you call that? As soon as possible RPG, MMO, or... Like, what would you call that game? Fuck, I didn't... Okay. Would you like to show me? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will Shorty, also, you said pubs. I we want to get a drink. Many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, okay. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of Hecate. our students' education in that regard. Okay. Yeah, what's charms class? What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever Ronan. and Professor Ronan. wizard and a talented a cat, teacher. A cat and Ronan, I think. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your Is it just day, me or am I just have much I'm learn. blown away by the fact Happily, that I created a character to create and they have a voice like you, I don't think any course. game that You'll I've played that where I've no created time. a character where they Judging talked. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip. Man, look here, woman. If I'd have known your son Ron from a hundred years from now, woman, I would have told you off. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. I ain't never hmm. read now my professor, bitch. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Yeah, there go my Speak nigga right there. The devil? Yeah. Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm Bro, just it's like I'm playing, a, I'm playing a game and I'm watching a movie. It doesn't get much better than that. And carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. 
Alright, fuck I that. This bitch seems like a snooty. Explain the details of the field you turn this bitch into a toad. Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Nobody talked to, to my professor like that, your bitch. Field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your But oh uh, yeah, Trace, thanks for yes, stopping through here, my boy. Come Good luck. Come find looks. me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. We're gonna talk more about and that dark we'll art shit. we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yo, you got a problem, my nigga? You following me? I thought your mother was nice. She is. But it's my baby. Oh, so you only move when niggas ain't looking. I hate right, where's I go over here? Sorry. Apology I'm gonna walk away. But why would your mother send you a howler? Being yeah. Extreme. Exactly. Oh, whatever. It's my little sister. That nigga lame. Mm. This Slytherin, man, you motherfuckers look depressed and boring, bro. I fit right in. Let's see, who is my boy looking at? Who are you talking to? Yep, we found the crazy motherfucker out of class. You gonna... My nigga gonna bring the... My nigga gonna bring... Never mind. <laughs> hey, Professor Fig, what's good? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping yeah. our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Man, I ain't Did I hear damn study you books? masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I ain't no snitch. Did you masterfully invade? So when he says that it's like masterfully evade, like, like I avoided it good? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was oh, right I to thought keep he was the details to yourself for now. <laughs> we don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. And we got now, ears, bro. We, we, we talking like this in a fucking wizard school, bro. You like, you know. Obliges you to be well trained. Happily, Something tells the me they're listening, bro. That fucking candle right there could be listening. To guide the you. floors Speaking literally could guides, be recording us right now. And so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley. Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. I want to go to the Mead pub place, bro. God damn, new quest, man. Fuck you, I'm going. Damn. Caught my dumb ass. Man, whatever. All right. This represents the main quest. Completing the main quest before the story of my future's main XP. XP for what? Yeah, that's where I want to go. Charms class. Yeah, just in case that motherfucking uh elf the map come back is up enchanted up. to help you find your way. This will be incredible. That big ass, that motherfucking elf now, dark elf from the like beginning. Quite a day yeah. ahead with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an Mr. exceptional Ollivander. craftsman and a good Ollivander. friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay what? attention. More than your owls may hinge on bro, the Bro, you just told you me that we to was going to go figure out what the hell this other shit was about. And now you going to say go to class, bro? That's some bitch ass shit. Open the fucking door, bro. This nigga, focus on your studies, nigga, after you done got a nigga all excited and shit. Wait, what the hell? Whoa. 
Okay, cool. I thought I was gonna say, am I an X Man in this bitch? What the fuck is in the bushes? Oh, you niggas is lazy. Y'all can't come out here and trim y'all own bushes. You gotta use magic for that. Hey, hold on. What's good, baby? Damn, it's like that. Oh, that's mm, rude, bitch. What the fuck? Great, so we have a pedophile in our dorm. Oh, you lucky nigga. What? Oh, hell no, that nigga free. <laughs> Bro, no, that's gonna get, that's gonna be weird. That's gonna be weird. That's gonna be some weird shit. Oh, oh, oh I've never seen, I need to go back and rewatch the Harry Potters. I've never seen him. Chase, did you, uh, you're still here. <laughs> And that's my nigga Sebastian. Professor Hackett. Perhaps Professor you'd be Hackett. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. 1878? Holy shit. Bitch, you've been alive since... Now, Never mind. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. That wand is badass. If you can make... Don't tell me, don't tell to me, wise, Chase, but if we're able to get our own wands and do shit with them... That'd Today be like another plus for me with this game. Saved me from death. This the game is already a 10 for me, being that my created character speaks. Levioso. 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 A levitation charm. Levioso. A yeah, surprise opponent good. is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Hey, I, I fuck with this game, bro. I fuck with this shit. Come on, bro. I don't want to do this shit again. Okay. Uh. 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 Yeah, boy. Love you, sir. Let me get a fucking stick and try that shit. Now, let's try something a little larger. Oh, because I'm a fifth year, y'all gonna make me do this shit first? Is that bad that I'm a fifth year? Let us begin with a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. So, now the basic cast. Well done. Flipped his ass. Yeah, nigga, get up. Get up, nigga. Oh, that's a Very dummy. Very good. Trip. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start yeah. with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Bro, I'm about to fold you. This should be easy. Nigga. Protego complicates things. Oh, shit. How's the view? Now perceptive. Thank you. Wait, okay. Well, Bitch ass nigga. This can't be your first. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, you didn't know I knew that, did you? Get your ass over here, nigga. Get this, nigga. Ooh. Yeah, nigga. Get off the table, nigga. Let's go. Oh. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. You already Thank know. You, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity you already know. to practice. Points to Slytherin, baby. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable Wait. of achieving. She didn't it, say she expects. And they she hopes. Must she demands. It. A classroom duel is one <laughs> thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins. Is a different kettle of green Wait a minute. entirely. What you, what you been talking to? Professor. How do you know this? So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Mr. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have Mr. some ideas Sallow. for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. So class over? All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, track facts, facts, facts. She looked like she'll fuck somebody up. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. A hey, strong competition. Well done. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> I fucked with that. Okay. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Okay. Yeah, you stick with him, buddy, with the glasses. Hold on, y'all both got glasses. Black boy, stick with this nigga. He cool. Now let's get the fuck up out of here. What's good, baby? You know, I'm into that whole frizzy hair glasses thing. Can hit you with that Levioso. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. What that mean? Anywho, nice good, work. Nigga. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was yeah, quite Yeah, Chase, something. I fuck with this. I, I like this game. Oh well, yeah, chat, it I was fuck with this game. Practice. practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. What's up? I'm literally like, I'm just, I'm literally in Hogwarts. I'm playing like, I'm literally like in Harry Potter. I know, but what do you do? Like, do you play games or what? You're, you're in school. Watch this, watch it. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned Let's duel. Go, come on. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules. The rules now, <laughs> whether okay, it's joining baby. a secret dueling club or Is there something wrong with me for like going along with the this? library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you. Yeah, see, I kind of figured if I went to I'll Hogwarts, I'd be a badass. Good. I think I kind of figured. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. My hair is in my for to put my hair in a ponytail real quick. Clock tower entrance. Cause that shit is in my ear. If that shit. You're interested? Well, tickle too. Well, look Until here, bub. Time. I don't know what you mean by unsanctioned, but I ain't giving up no tail, nigga. You think it's time about something we can meet in an unsanctioned place? Bro. Like, what you mean? Well, let's get up out of here, cuz. I'm gonna go explore around for a minute. Rebellion. Mm. Wait, there's a chest in there. Level two unlocked. Whatever. Oh, my Not a 
Oh, one of them deserves more than a T. What the fuck? Were they talking? Best pants is a pinch for young orphan wizard. I wish I had a voice thing to show me how to pronounce his name. Elysius? Elysius? From the mentors. Also, okay, okay, so there are cannon in here. Hey, where's my nigga then? Where's, uh. Hagrid? I think I said it no. I said it wrong, but uh you know who I'm talking about, buddy with the big ass beard. You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, fuck the bullshit. I'm watching Harry Potter tonight. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. That serious black. <laughs> Is that Cerberus? The little three-headed dog thing? Oh, you don't need it, boy. Go to charms class? Hell no. Look at the artwork. I was gonna say, doesn't she look like the teacher, the one with like the little, like the the bubble eyes from the movie? Uh, there's the Griffin thing. Saber too. Hmm. It's a lot of griffins. What the fuck is the snake set, Nick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You got a pit need it. Never mind. What are you up to now? Who said that? The fuck is you talking about, bitch? Keep walking. From the tail of your cloak, we ain't from the same crew. Oh, fuck you up. Oh, what is this shit? What is this? Oh, whatever. The fuck is you looking at? Hufflepuff ass nigga. No, I think he was Gryffindor. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back on the lesson. three broomsticks to the hog's head. Saron is a much better conversationalist than Jasper Trout. Did you get your bit of from Mmm. Where my cigarette go? Here. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Bro, you're not fucking slithering, bro. Like, who the I fuck are you? you? So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? Hey, okay. Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. Yeah, about but that, I don't got one. Before we begin, this is just like in high school. anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. 
My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Nigga, this is my first time hmm. here. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. We got the Dead Meat podcast going on. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Asiel? Akil? Oh, whatever. Wait till they pronounce it. What does she pronounce it? Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a Why are you talking like you from Wakanda? I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, we only as you did all once. to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion oh, okay, cool. outside Let's go. for a spot of fresh air. See, that's why they always tell you to shut up and let After me. Talk. Go, come on. We're going out. Let's go. We're going outside finally, man. Thank you. But yeah, Chase, that fucking Flash movie, I really enjoyed that. I like how they tried to add the little speed force thing in there, like when he runs so fast he enters like the speed thing. Like that shit was pretty cool to me. That was pretty cool. And I didn't I've never laughed so much at a fucking like DC or Marvel movie, but that shit was funny. Eliza Miller is funny as shit. With mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Quidditch. <laughs> so what better than a bit of sport? To put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the most black kids I've ever seen in Hogwarts. Because remember when we was watching Harry Potter that so one day, and I was like, wait, why ain't there any goddamn black mm -hmm. wizards? <laughs> and then he was like, there's <laughs> some. Aw, <laughs> oh, shit, here we go. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The okay. trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best. Very good. That should do it. That should do it. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Let's go. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Fuck Onai, friendly. would Fuck you the rest care of to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, whatever, man. Come on. Who go first? Let us see this. There we go. All right, but show you how we do it where I'm from. Yeah, nigga. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah, nigga. 
Go. That is how it's done. Bro, this shit is rigged. You should have missed one. Show you how we do it. I let go too early. Very good. Well, what is the sun, Erica? Where's the sun? I don't even want to play this shit no more after that. It got hella dark. The clouds are playing. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I shouldn't have lost that shit. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Nah, shut up, bitch. Go. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Yeah. This round settles it. Let me let you get perfect ones all last round. Go. Hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you how you really do this shit. Go. Excellent. Let's go. There. Here we go. Bullshit. Yes. Bullshit. Now. That's oh my god, bro. What's this? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. That is how it's done. No, oh, it ain't. This how it is right here. Okay. Not exactly your physical level, is it? Not that I mind. Ah, that was too hard. That was too hard. Oh to my god. Very good, both of you. Well done. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Man, fuck you. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could thick. hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. 
I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can A word, use if you would. If you wanted so. to speak with me, Professor? I did. Yo, no I funny business. You better just want to talk. Lesson lived up to I'll be seeing them college well, movies. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, okay. Professor. Okay. okay. It was a challenging match. Miss Unai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> then I got shit to do with me. Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I bet. Let's go, baby. Talking to some of these classmates. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <laughs> Yeah, these bathrooms. Yeah, I gotta use the bathroom. One second, chat.
bathroom. I'm gonna do some of these. What's this? Let me go to uh, Professor Rowling. Oh, I can put the headphones in this time. The phone's charged. Yep. The phone's charged. I can put the headphones in. No, I want to use the bathroom. I'm streaming. What the hell? Oh, I was like, no. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I had to use the bathroom now. So. Get it, baby. But yeah, this game's the shit. And you know I like a good call. Rascal, going without me. I had mentioned. Sharing a stream with chat. I found you out. It was a spontaneous outing. We had intended to study, but then I really fancied something sweet. And did you go to Steep, please? Yes, and to see Serona. Scoundrels! Pucks of you! I shall remember this next time you ask me about habits. Monster. And tis purples. You're on your own with Howen now. Oh, we did get you a cold you gave. Well, why did you stay back in the first place? Consider the matter closed, and all is forgiven. <laughs> all is forgiven. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Because <coughs> you ain't on my level, little girl. Go to edit, Susie. You're playing with the chess with my sister. And then the werewolf joined the party and the upper. Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion yeah, of Pepsi. Am I yeah. a bit? The minute of the <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, Susie? I don't know. I'm not on TikTok. Fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves to spag. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gordon. It wasn't boot, it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Flack. Uh, yeah, this is when Alvin... Rebellion. Oh, 
I never would have guessed. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Get it, y'all. Hey, Brian, take a short move with a girl. Go see like, Professor real quick. Like, you ever, you ever chase after a girl you like, you know, and he's just basically, he's basically venting about girls to Michael, which, and like, that's just spent a moment of time in some obscure good thing. I don't know. I just, I know this course. Moments, yeah. moments of the Halloween series. I can only think of, of I'm sure there's more examples of this and the part in, uh, hit the like button on the screen. <laughs> Professor Weasley? We have to go meet Professor Weasley. Mm. Okay. I remember her. I met her. So she is the fastest flyer.
Mm. Yeah, I like this game. Mm. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, mm -hmm. Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nope. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. <laughs> <coughs> Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Thank Mr. You, Ollivander Professor. will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your so we do get our own well wands. Let's go. Wand, but you'll find the magic you cast Let's go. with your we get own, our own wand wands. to be far superior. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. <coughs> J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide Pippin. array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. You already Mr. know, you already know I'm going with Sebastian. You already know. Come on. We're part of the same well school. clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow. If you Theophilus. Can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. Let's go. We out. We out this bitch. <sighs> Speak to Professor Rodder to receive your first assignment. Assignments are type of questions for you. <sighs> <laughs> That'd be cool if you can travel in groups of three. What's good, my nigga? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor? Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor.
about that my button got stuck I am not a noob wizard or witch I trust the prelim I completed the assignments professor marvelous you clearly know your way around basic charms let us give the old mending charm a try then shall we remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements I want to see some vigor now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repero. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Statue, okay. Repair it. All right, G. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? Stay focused. Come on. I'm playing the game, dumb. Because mm -hmm. I heard somebody on the game mention something, dummy. Uh, shut up. Damn, you're annoying. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Yeah, you were. And ah, nothing happened last my night, so what the hell are you trying I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we?
I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite a character. My sister Anne thinks he's loved, but I think he's been through a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. 
We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer?
connection. Whatever it is, they'll all want to know your secrets. Revelia. Whatever. Man, what the fuck, bro? Okay, I guess I can't. No, I was trying to change my gear. I guess I can't. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How hard. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. <laughs> Yes. 
Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Mm. Mm, okay. Okay. Curious indeed. This is tricky. Oh, no, it ain't. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Uh, I am so sorry. Hello? Curious indeed. Yeah, that burp was crazy. What do you think? That's how you make a fucking wand. Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds so. wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hi, my nigga. Hello? Yeah, I feel like taking a nap. Mm. Mm. I'll go to the scrolls. the hell are you doing? Listening to a comic book on YouTube right now. Hey, y'all want to come see my one? I am so sorry. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. My bad. An inquiring mind. Hey, what's good? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Fact. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique no. items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. 
but I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. I don't even know what I'm getting. Alright. Whoa. Yeah, what the hell? Hello? Ads and duties. Huh? Nothing. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I ain't looking at shit. You is a taxi motherfucker. Fuck you! Hello? I'm not talking to you, nigga. We'll finish up the shop here and then we. It says world map. Uh, excuse me. Fuck on my way, nigga. What's this? Oh, okay. J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't I believe really I've like seen your game. face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. You see my Is character? It really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You see my uh, character? Sign, of course, but Grandfather always Look at the green dreads. Oh. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. That shit looks cold. Hogwarts. I don't know what the hell you're the talking student. about. She sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. Yeah. I suspected if and it's a she. Her name like is Raven. Your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating mm. art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. Yeah, they a can potion heal, can destroy, yep. protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. Yeah, I'm, from, yeah, I'm gonna take a nap because I'm playing this all night. From time to time, pop in when you can, so you don't. Uh, yeah, I like miss out this. On but for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Alright, what's the recipes, baby? Uh, hello? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come uh -huh, back another time if you're in a I rush will. today. I'm gonna come see you. I'm gonna come see you. What's good, baby? Yeah, bend over real quick. Let me get that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, bend over real quick, bitch. Oh, yeah. Mm, stir that potion. Hey, that shit look like blue juice. I would have been dead because I would have drunk that shit. Me as a wizard, bro, I'm just, I'm literally getting me like, I know I'm not ever going to be broke. Not even that. Hold on, where I got to go next? Uh, visit the magic neat. Hello? Get your ass up. Xavier has everybody sleeping still. Mm. 
Wonder Woman was a thought. Well, hello there. Yeah. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I tell what you, the fuck did you just call me? Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. Did he call me a Dittany? positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And Timothy Teasdale. The magic neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, my penis is huge. Not you. Not you. I'm telling myself a marriage. I'm dead. Hell no. I don't even want to eat these cookies no more. What the fuck is bouncing in the windows over there? Mm. Bro, we're right here. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. I don't want to skip it. Oh shit. Here we go. Hold on. Lumbering last 
goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? Do I not see, mock me, woman. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's I am talking to you. Are you alright? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. You already if know. You are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. I'm of not course, no officer. slave. Singer. Why are you saying okay? Officer Singer. And oh, that's a cop? Again. We're going to cap it off right there. Thank y'all for everybody who tuned in here. I have... I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap, listen to the end of this comic book. And um, I'm going to continue streaming this later on today. Go check out my boy Slightly Twisted, but he is Bone Daddy 989 or 898 on Twitch. But, uh, ooh, and I still got some powder fucking donuts, man. Life is good. All right, then, y'all. Damn, see, the comic books used to be brutal.
Uh, hello there. Um, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. a singer to worry about. That just looks tacky with that right there. I am gonna take the money off that bag though. Kitty! I'm gonna. I'm gonna call you. Perkinsteins. Hold on, I gotta fix some more shit, Perk. Hold on. Right here? Hi over here. Repairer. Repairer. I'm able to just repair a house like it ain't shit. Okay, that, that's pretty fucking handy right there. We out this bitch, nigga. Look how I'm running, nigga. Look at that speed. Hold on. Oh, level. Okay, whatever. I'm staring at the open door before you. Okay, okay, hold on here. Wait a second, it's all real bullshit, isn't it, Mr. Brockley? Wait a tick. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. You the nigga who wouldn't talk to me when I wanted some new clothes. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill. Augustus. Clothia extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protection. protection as and as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we?
What is going on? Well, okay, I get how it goes. I get how this sort of works. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. I Three broomsticks is just like this way. Chronica. Like I literally sound like Chronica. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Two hundred for a scarf? Can I rob this nigga? Well, let me piss off. So we'll find some more stuff on the way along the la can't talk. Alright then pimp. I'll have some tea. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know.
You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Whoa, what Thank the you. fuck, Serona? You be well. Why does she sound like that? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. There's a... It's my hmm. first time here. Welcome. There's a face I haven't seen before. Butterbeer's on me. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I wish it was something I, I could say, just build my way up. Nobody's dicky to me already. It's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, that's timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Damn, I feel like I'm in a movie. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelia. Don't get any funny ideas. Let me get the fuck out of here, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours.
Where the fuck is it? Fuck is the common room then? Fuck. I'm on your lawn, never cracker. What are you gonna do about it? Alright, let's get back to it. What's up, Professor? Come see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found Grigots. I need some water. Hold on. I needed something to drink, sorry about that, come on. <sighs> What's good, Slytherin crew? What was that? It is, they're starting to get in it. Tell her there it's... Why do we even have flying if Professor Black cancelled Quidditch? I want to play Quidditch professionally when I'm older. I'd make a marvelous chaser. I was going to try out for the Quidditch team this year. Broomsticks are going out of style, I think. So many other ways to travel now. Nothing beats a leisurely evening flight. I don't like flying on a broom. I prefer the safety of a festal drawn carriage. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Revenia!
Rebellion. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard.
go back to practicing our skills? Velio. Rebellion. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. It's your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. 
There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Rebellion. Revenue. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high, Got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. 
If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Keep an eye on high places around the school for some of these questions. Lumos. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's costumes. Rebellion. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> <laughs> 